The, it, it is not surprising, I don't think it should surprise anybody, that when people are concerned about a national security threat, the, they will invest the resources to counter it. Well, I have a comment and a question, but uh, I'll go ahead and go and make this as quick as possible, seeing we're running out of time. Um, first of all, I just wanted to comment how I noticed that none of your answers have uh, uh, mentioned anything about, you know, the uh, all the CIA reports about blowback. I just want to make a comment about that since this that hasn't been brought up at all. Um, my actual question, though, is considering your and a lot of your colleagues' um, relationship with uh, Ahmed Chabali, um, including Wolfowitz, uh, Pearl, and Wormser, um, I just want to know, and also the difference between your personal advice to the administration and the difference between that and all the CIA information about, um, like all the intelligence information about Saddam Hussein, how are we supposed to take your, um, your advice seriously when you have been involved with this person, you know, who's been, you know, since about 1989 trying to overthrow Saddam? I mean, I was wondering if you'd like to expound on that a little bit, how we're supposed to take, you know, like, is it, like, a personal agenda for you? Like, I don't know how we're supposed to differentiate the two. So. You, you asked about Ahmed Chalabi. I, I raised uh, Chalabi in my, in my opening remarks. Um, what you will see if, if you get a chance to look at my book is that one of the most controversial topics within the interagency discussions about Iraq uh, before the war was the question of how and whether we should work with the various Iraqi uh, so-called external groups. That meant the, the Kurds and the exiles. And it was, it was extremely controversial. Chalabi was the most controversial of all of those figures. And, uh, and there were debates about him and his reliability and whether he would have political support and whether the other uh, Iraqi externals would have political support in Iraq after Saddam was removed. Uh, that happens to be a major topic uh, of the book. I think those controversies were conducted on the basis of, of some analyses that, uh, that turned out to be mistaken because uh, what we have seen in Iraq since the overthrow of Saddam is that all of the political leadership has been uh, dominated by uh, both in the, in the interim government that was appointed and in the elected governments, um, has been dominated by the externals. So the, the notion that the Iraqi externals would not have political support, did not have legitimacy, and should not have been worked with or relied upon in the run-up to the war uh, I think was based on an incorrect analysis. And this whole controversy about Chalabi is at the center of that. And as I said, I would invite you to take a look at the book um, to, you know, to, to get the details on that. Anyway, uh, I, I appreciate your attention. And uh, I, as I said, I would encourage you to, to dig deeply into this. Thank, thank you very much, folks. I appreciate your time today. Uh, join us tomorrow. We have four more events uh, in the Tivoli Turn Hall. We have events in the 320s. Thursday is Howard Zinn, and then it's the weekend. Thank you very much. Once again, anybody who's interested in a DVD of this lecture, leave your name and email address at the front. Thank you very much.